Hello. We appear to be at sea again. Welcome back to SV Blown Away. In this week's episode, we make our way round the Baja Peninsula and into the Sea of Cortez. We are Ian and Natalie, and our life is just one big, long adventure. Normally, we're sailing our 50-year-old steel catch blown away around the Med. Sometimes we have to top up the cruising kitty. In our more recent episodes, we took delivery of a Spirit Yacht 44 CRE, which is fully electric. Sailed her down to San Diego to check out of America, into Ensenada to check into Mexico, and then all the way down the Baja California. We had various conditions on this trip, from 31 knots of wind down to absolutely none. We were accompanied by different types of wildlife, including whales, dolphins, and seals and sea lions. We then surfed our way in past the headland to enter Cabo San Lucas. In this week's episode, you join us on the dock in Cabo. <laughs> and for a country boy like me, Cabo is an assault on your senses. Especially when you've watched the movie Sicario. But we do have a few issues that we need resolved before we can sail any further. When we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh the good times just begun It seems like we may be here a while so we decide to make our lives a little more comfortable Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right We are in Mexico, in Cabo San Lucas. And what are we doing here? We're watching the sea lions and the local wildlife. There's lots of pelicans around and sea lions. And why are we sat here for two weeks? Um, we're just waiting on a part to arrive. Um, there's been a little issue with the boat, but nothing massive, just a teething problem. And we are waiting on a part and someone to fit it. And unfortunately the part is stuck in Mexican customs. So we are awaiting that part and when it arrives, hopefully it will get fitted very quickly and then we'll be on our way. Kelp is a very nice sailing boat, so we had no issues at all in sailing her all the way down from the US. Um, very pleasant to sail, lovely big reaching sail, downwind stuff in light winds. And the rest of the time we were, yeah, it was pretty windy out there and pretty, pretty big waves at times, so we were sailing down reefed, reefed on main and we yeah. did have a um, forecast when we left Oxenard of uh, 30 knots possibly gusting to 40. Yes, tell them about the trip into Cabo. The trip into Cabo. So we were warned by a friend of ours Dylan about the winds that accelerate around the tip of uh, the Baja Peninsula here in Cabo and he was absolutely right. Thank you Dylan. How much wind did we have? Um, I saw a gust of 32 knots. And what boat speed did we have? Um, we had a boat speed of 11.6 knots, which I need to confirm on the uh, GPS actually. Yes. Um, and we had, uh, because the head cell, the furler on the head cell decided to die, um, so we had the, the head cell rolled away. We came in on the main with one reef in, and we probably could have done with two reefs in it in the last couple of hours. Uh, but we did fly. We did fly into Cabo. With us both getting tired of eating tacos and fajitas, we continually are watching the weather, mindful 
that hurricane season is rapidly approaching. We need to get north of the hurricane zone, but we need a good weather window to sail our way up. With the parts still stuck in customs, it's time to get out of here. It looks so much better when the sun is on it. You have to bend me down. Yeah. And the furler <coughs> is uh, part of the problem, <laughs> as you can see. We're about to take it down by walking it around the force day. Having tacked our way out of Cabo San Lucas, the wind is now more behind us, so we can use our reach and sail. Knowing that we may have to do this on this trip, we did actually take the battens out of this sail to make manual furling easier. It was at this point we were very grateful that this sail is a fractional rig and nowhere near as big as the Genoa on the Blown Away. Uh, we haven't been able to effect repairs to the boat, which is rather irritating. Um, our parts are held up in customs, could be there indefinitely. So it's a sailing boat and we are going to sail the rest of the way to our destination. It's about 70 miles left to run. Um, we've got a favourable wind for today and overnight. Right, so we should... We're currently rigging our um, masthead reacher sail and the wind is almost dead behind us. So we should be able to run this for a little while. Um, yeah, and that's just up on the fore deck, setting it up that way. With reasonably light winds after the beam, we cruised along the coast.
take that smile off your face. <laughs> what have you done today? Around the back of the California, the bottom, the peninsula. Uh, and beautiful, very, very beautiful boats. And I'm uh, going to miss because it's been an amazing day of sailing. It has been an amazing day of sailing. We were meant to have no wind, and the wind we were meant to have was meant to stop and then start going in the wrong direction. And we still currently got almost 12 knots of wind from pretty much dead behind us, and we're cruising along at uh, five, five and a half knots. The colours are beautiful and the mountains are amazing. The camera doesn't really pick it up but there's like rays coming up. And we have our first star of the evening. Well, second star of the evening because there's the first star of the evening. Is that cheesy enough for you? Sunset over the Baja Peninsula. What a cracking day, sir, we've had. What a fantastic sunset we have just had. Absolutely stunning. Loving Mexico. That is the moonrise on our last night sail of the Spirit 44. Delivery Kelpie. Look at that blood moon, look at that, that's amazing. Oh wow. That is so cool. Would be a pretty appropriate way to end today's sale. I would say so. Okay, what we were just discussing is how we've had a perfect weather window for the last part of this trip. Absolutely, yeah, we, we struck lucky with this. We literally had wind, we had wind on the nose at the beginning, then we had the reacher out for a little while, and then it went dead behind us, and we've literally just been cruising along, um, no we dramas. Have, we have sailed our, changed our sail plan a couple of times, a couple of times we've had to drive the main, um, but the wind is literally wrapped around the bottom of the Baja Peninsula and we've come from Cabo San Lucas and it's carried us all the way Cabo San Lucas There's a song about it. I'll link to it in the, uh, in the description down below because it'll take the crap out of you. It has been me for the last two weeks. <laughs> so the wind is literally wrapped around the bottom from Cabo San Lucas to Cabo Pulmo. Pulmo. Um, and we kind of think it's going to peter out when we get to the next headland, but who knows? We might strike really lucky. Um, we've got about pushing our luck to expect any more. I think we've got about 20 miles to go, um, and I've been really happy with this last leg because we we planned it and then we've executed it, and I like that. And to na up till now, we haven't had any issues. Good work, Skipper. Go Team BA. Team BA. And in the words of Nanny McPhee, my work here is done. And I'm so glad we got to take the new owners out for a day sale. I only wish it could have been longer. And we have covered 1,200 miles in a little over 10 days worth of sailing. And it's time for us to go home to Blown Away. But there are always some boats that we have a special affection for and Kelpie is one of them. So we wish the new owners fair winds and safe passages and hopefully we'll see you out on the water 
So we will now be jumping on a flight back to UK to see some friends and family before our continuing flight back to Greece. I'm blown away. Well, you can have a cold tin of soup or a sandwich. Is that yeah? food repair cream you're adding to my sandwich? Well, yep, yeah, as requested. Mm -mm -mm. You can eat anything if it's covered in ketchup. Put the wooden bib under the chin so the ketchup doesn't go on the teak. Ah! Sailing brothers, eat your eye out. Come on, it's good B-roll. Hi guys, we're back. We are indeed back. Back from a fantastic trip in Mexico. Thank you, Spirit Yachts, you are the best. Yeah, it was great fun. Yeah, so I'm back down to editing and uh, I'm down in the dungeon down below with my laptop out and about 200 gigabytes of camera data that needs to be uh, looked at, watched through, all the garbage got rid of and the good bits kept and the good bits are the bits that we're going to share with you. Yes, and there are lots of good bits. A ton of good bits. So come with us, we're going to go and fit these to our chain in 40 degrees of heat on anchor in Greece right now. But join us again next week when we have three sets of anchor right chain markers to give away to you guys. We did not get paid for this, we did this for you. You know, sometimes the simplest of designs are the most obvious. This is like a reinvent in the wheel. And once again, a huge shout out to our monthly Kofi supporters. The McKenna family, David Luchford, Eric, Captain Svetlana, thank you so much for your monthly donations. Also a big thank you to the people that have made donations as one-off payments. And thank you Trev Hedges for your donation this week, much appreciated. And as always a massive shout out to our monthly Patreon supporters Matt, Michael, Ian, Parr, Miles, Eric, Timmy Offey, JG and the new kid on the block, Graham Elvey. And if you're interested you can watch other videos by clicking on the button bottom left or if you want to subscribe if you haven't already hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and you will get more videos like this.